everybody can you believe it i'm doing three videos this week i know right <laughs> i'm gone for three or four weeks and i come back to three in one week but i am leaving tomorrow morning for um austin and so i wanted to get another video in real quick um, but another reason was it's 80 degrees here today i think that's something like 26 or 27 degrees celsius i'm not sure but anyway it's getting really warm and um i have bought a lot of clothes for isaac and i wanted to get some of them on him before it got really too hot so i've got this little outfit that i had ordered which are these uh knit white with yellow striped uh trousers <clears throat> and uh, they are janie and jack and then the little white sweater with the yellow stripes on it. Or as some of you say, lemon. And we have some little white socks here and these little white shoes that I'm not sure if they will fit him or not, but we will find out. So anyway, <clears throat> thank you for all your wonderful comments on my videos uh, this week. I do appreciate all of it. And, um, I've actually been able to keep up <laughs> somewhat. So we're going to take off his sweet little lamb booties that he had on for Theme Thursday yesterday. These are from Paris the Juju. Um, and I'm not sure how you say the rest of that. But anyway, very cute little booties. And, uh, well, there's a lot to get ready to go somewhere, you know. <laughs> Oh, congratulations, big, huge congratulations to Suzanne on her beautiful new little baby girl. I watched that this morning. That was a lot of fun. Um, seeing her do that beautiful box opening. Alexandra, you hit another home run with that one. Come on, baby, let's get your arms out. Um, someone had asked, actually, I had more than one, uh, once, um, on this video and one on another video that I had this little outfit on uh, the brand name of this and it is um, Petit Pepe P-E-T-I-T -E it is right there I don't know if you can see that Petit Pepe and this actually came with John David who is sitting right here he wanted to watch Isaac get changed <laughs> This actually came in his box opening, but oh my goodness, it, I put this on him earlier this week and it was so tight the poor baby was turning blue. So I took it off of him and put it on this little fella. Now, it was a zero to three months, uh, but it was way too tight for John David. Um, but the outfit that I did put him in, uh, this little mustard... Um, why can't I ever think of the name of that <laughs> check? Anyway, this mustard gauze outfit, and it is a zero to three months. So go figure. I mean, some sizes are way big, and gingham, that's what that's called, gingham. Yes, gingham check. Um, for some reason, that name just slips me all the time. But anyhow, um, it's zero to three months, and it fits in beautifully. Uh, and this zero to three months is a little big on him, which that was zero to three months. And so is this. So we'll see how it goes, um, putting this on him. But uh, yeah, I bathed Noelle today. That's my black lab. She's, cause she goes with us. And so she's all ready to go on her trip. Oh, did I tell y'all that last week we had to do a uh, reevaluation. Uh, Noelle and I are a therapy team. And uh, we go out and, you know, visit people in nursing homes and hospitals and events and fairs and museums and all that, children's museums and stuff. And uh, so it was time for us to be re-evaluated and we went for that. And we haven't been visiting now for a couple of years because of COVID. So I told them when I got there, so she may be a little rusty. Uh-uh, she passed with flying colors. I was so proud of her. And this was just a week after her surgery. 
So I was really proud of her. Let's see now, this is zero three months and it's gonna fit him beautifully. Look how cute you are. Yes, you are, sweet little boy. Uh, so yeah, we did that. I was gonna tell y'all something and I forgot what it was. <laughs> I swear. Oh, he's seen your moments on my head. Oh, um, I don't know if I told y'all or not, but uh, when I went to Austin last month, uh, we went bowling. And, uh, you know, I, I used to bowl on a league a bowling league and I did bowl in um, uh, tournaments and stuff like that but it's been I, uh, when COVID hit we had to stop and I just never went back because I realized that my my wrist and my hips and my knee wasn't hurting anymore and I thought you know it's not worth it to beat your body up to do something even though it was enjoyable it was just too much on my body so I didn't go back but we decided we would go bowling when I was over in Austin. And, uh, you know, I had to rent shoes and a ball because I did not have my own shoes and ball with me. Let me get you pulled down here, sweetheart. Let me get you all pulled down. There you go. Oh my goodness, you look so super sweet. And uh, so anyway, um, I rented these shoes, rented a ball. Now. I don't know uh, how many of you bowl, but when you get on the approach and get ready to throw the ball, uh, you take, uh, some people take three, some take, people take five steps, and then you slide and release the ball, okay? So you're, I'm used to going up there and having a nice slide. As a matter of fact, we even put um, these little slide socks over your shoe to help you even slide any be even better. Well, uh, I had on rented shoes and I got up there for the first time to throw the ball. I did my steps, went to slide and I stuck fast. There was no slide to those shoes whatsoever. And the ball was a little small for my hand and stuck on my thumb. <laughs> And I fell face forward. <laughs> Actually, I didn't go, yeah, these shoes are perfect. I didn't go um, on my face, but I fell down onto my knees. And my hands even went into the oil um, on the lane. So I thought, wow, that was really strange. <clears throat> I didn't realize, you know, so I thought, well, I've got another ball. You know, you get two shots, so. I threw another ball and did the exact same thing. Went to slide my shoe. It's like you're supposed to go like that and slide. And I went like that. And it was just like, er, and fell again. So I went up to the desk and I told them there, I said, these shoes have absolutely no slide to them. You know, can I try another pair? And he said, well, they're rental shoes and none of them slide. I guess that's a liability for them, for people who don't normally bowl, for them to be slippery, I guess. I don't know, but there was no slide to them whatsoever. And I thought, well, I can't bowl like this. I can't just stop something I've been doing for years, you know, which is to slide. So guess what I did? <laughs> I took my shoes off and bowled in my socks. <laughs> bowled in my socks. Yes, I did. So it was nice. We had a good time. So anyway, that was my bowling story. <laughs> uh, my son goes, he hit them. Well, first of all, you know, they were real concerned because I, I fell those couple of times. My son comes running up to help me, <clears throat> which I'm sure I've told y'all this before. But um, if you ever want to know if you're old yet, young or old, all you have to do is fall. If you fall and people laugh, then you're still young. If you fall and people rush to your aid, then you're old. <laughs> and I'm old. My husband and my son just rushed up there to make sure I was okay. And uh, yeah, he said, well, does that hurt your pride a little bit? I said, it doesn't hurt my pride, it hurts my knees because I fell on my knees. So there is my sweet little Isaac. 
at me, sweetheart. <laughs> in his pretty little yellow and white suit. That would be very cute for Easter, wouldn't it? But I wanted to get that on him before it got too hot for him to wear it. But it's a nice little cotton thing. So, I mean, it's, it's air conditioned in the house, so he would be okay. There we go, my sweet little one. What do you think, John David? Huh? Is he all dressed now? He's all dressed. I'd give him a toy, but he doesn't seem interested. So, um, oh, and Gail, you wanted to know about my ring. So she was asking if my ring had antiquing on it. This is my wedding ring, and it does not have antiquing. It is a double ring. It has uh, the solitaire here uh, in the middle, and then we have, uh, I think, around 12 little diamonds here, and then five rubies over here on this side. So it's rubies, not antiquing. And then I have this anniversary ring that my husband got on our 30th, which is sapphires and diamonds, which is sapphires is my birthstone. So thank you for asking about that, Gail. And uh, so I will not be um, in pocket for the weekend. We're coming back on Tuesday morning. Um, we're going to a big, huge, huge antique show on Monday and then I, we're coming back Tuesday morning and then I have dress rehearsal on Tuesday and Thursday and then we open our play on Friday so gonna be a busy week but there we go my sweet little boy I love to squeeze his cheeks in case y'all wonder why I always do that because they were just so squishy <laughs> sorry baby <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's so crazy. All right, so thanks for stopping by. Congratulations again, Suzanne, on your beautiful little girl. And thank you for uh, all of the sweet comments you've given me on my videos this week. I love you all. I've been enjoying watching your videos and hope to see a lot more. So see you real soon. Bye-bye.